we've just got here, power's on, levels in our right, we put the ramp under the wheel and our levels are just as we like them. Now next step before we unhitch is put the chocks around each of the wheels. And likewise on the other side, put the two chocks down there too. Now first thing we're going to have to do is we have to take off the uh, sway bars. Let's get prepared for it. Now it's already over here and we'll put the timber underneath because it has been raining and it's probably a good idea to have a timber base when it's been raining. We use the hydraulic jack as you notice. All we have to do is get this top bar here to sink with a hole. This hole here and once that goes in the one below it will also for us, everything's right there. Now, so, disengaged those, take the pin away, put the brake on. Pins down where we know where they are. Okay, I'm just going to bring this up a little bit further. Now, it's just starting to raise up there, which means the pressure from the car has been taken considerably off. So, weight distribution bars off. Now, bar in, holding with pressure, pins out, straddle, allowing that for danger here, the danger can be that that can flick and the pressure comes down and this bar can hit something. So, just do this. Because we've alleviated the pressure by using that, it is so much easier. So one off, there should be very little pressure because of what we've done. And sure enough, there isn't any pressure. Lift these back up into position on both sides and let's keep the pin where we can see it. That's going to go in the bin as soon as we can. Let's come over here now and we're going to undo each of these as we work our way along. Starting this side, uh, quite easy to take off. Remember how we had tightened it, given one quarter. That quarter makes it loose to get off. Up up there. And now it's safety chain comes off. Put them in there. The pin, the Anderson plug, put them in here. Make sure they face down because you don't want water getting up inside them. Water gets inside them, they rust off and they won't work. Chain. I rest it over the top that holds them in place. So it's now all in position. All we have to do now is just pump it up and take the car away. Let's do it. Give it some space though. What just happened then was really interesting, wasn't it? Because of the angles we're on, it, we had to actually lift it quite high. And that highness um, made the whole thing shake. And that's one reason we have our wheels braced and also the handbrake securely on. And as you notice, it may have shake, shaken, didn't move though. We're now just going to move the car forward, just off from where the ball would actually go on. One of the first things we actually did put onto our A-frame was this because it gives us the levels, you know, it's that way and that way. That level is correct because we have the ramp in the right position. If you're on level ground, you don't need a ramp. Here we did. Well, now we're slowly going down. If you come over here and look at the... We're trying to aim to get that just in there but slightly on the higher side for us because it just makes our bed head slightly higher, which is how we like it. And that's it there, perfectly. Then tighten this off here again on the hydraulic jack. Put the pins away where we decided. I actually store ours behind the battery so I know exactly where they are. And also we'll place these pipes in here. Locked away. Everything's away. Everything's level. 
it's all balanced, caravan unhitched.